This is 30minutetrading.com. First off, disclaimer. Please pause the video and read the disclaimer and make sure you understand it before you carry on. Also look at the CFTC rule 4.41. Please again, pause the video, read this, make sure you understand it, and then you can carry on. Hello and welcome. This is John from 30 Minute Trading, just talking to you a little bit about the indicators. Uh, I'm going to take you through them bit by bit and we'll talk about trading as well. Okay, um, you will recall from various webinars and trainings, you have to pay attention to trading as well as indicators. Let's just move this cursor out of the way completely. There we are, that's got it. <coughs> right, you have to pay attention to trading as well as indicators. And when you're thinking about trading, you need to think about everything about trading. So the indicators give you early signals about what's happening, or even confirmation signals, or even warning signals about how trend is, tra is changing. Now, combined with that are the candlestick patterns, and there's a whole webinar on candlestick patterns, which I don't want to go into at the moment. Uh, but if you want to go into it, then I'll see if I can pull up a different uh, webinar for you, details of that. Right, then the other thing was about support and resistance, and we've had a whole webinar on support and resistance and room for the trade. And again, I don't really want to go into full detail about all of that at the moment. So I do want to remind you, however, that these are things that you should be considering. Then the other thing we talked about is multiple time scales and how in principle, if you're going to trade one time scale, then you're wise to be paying attention to higher time scales. So with the question about whether to trade daily candlestick charts or daily bar charts or whatever charts you're going to be trading. You need to be mindful of higher time frames. So let's suppose we're talking about trading a daily chart. Let's first look at a monthly chart. So here we have a chart of the euro dollar and I'm going to click on it and make it monthly and I'm going to bring this into a line. There we are. And so now we have a monthly chart. Let's just talk through what's happening on the monthly chart. First, let's look at the bull bear butterfly, the Cato bull bear butterfly. This will tell us roughly where we are in terms of being bull or bear. Um, if the chart is traveling sideways, we've got a sideways chart, which principally we do have in this case on the monthly, we are looking at, and let me just point, we're looking at um, a low here, and a low there, and a low here. We're also looking at a high there, and a high there. So we could say that we have a chart which has approximately uh, a line across there and a line across there and another line across here. So that is the resistance and down here we have like a support level. So now we have a, a general picture about where we are in terms of trading the euro dollar. Let's look at what the midpoint is on that. The midpoint is roughly there. So now we know as we look at this chart that we have resistance level in this zone here and a support level in this zone here and we're approximately at the midway point in this zone here. So from a monthly point of view we are around the midpoint and we are trending from the bottom of the channel to the top of the channel, to the bottom of the channel, to the top of the channel, 
to the bottom of the channel. We've come up, hit the midpoint and rejected it, come back. We're now around the midpoint again. We're looking clearly for a move to the upside to the top of the channel. Now, in the past, we can see that sometimes it's taken a number of months. So it's taken maybe something like five or six months to get there. It, it went beyond the top of this channel here and then it took one, two, three, four months to get down to the bottom. Then we had a major uh, move back up and then a major move back down again and then some down at the bottom and up and so on. So you can see it's volatile. You have to be, to trade, you have to recognize that not all moves are going to be consistent. So here we have a trade which has actually moved up nicely and smoothly. This is a nice trend that would have been an easy trend to trade. Here's a very fast fall back down again, which if you were believing it was going bull all the time, it would have been difficult to, to believe it would have gone that far down. And then this very fast recovery that came almost back up to here, which shot up and then shot back down again. So in one month, it went all the way up and all the way back down again. So clearly trading this is, is complicated and you need to be mindful of it at multiple time scales. Okay, so let's look into this from a weekly point of view and see what information we've got there. We've now drawn those lines on it. Let's have a look at the weekly. Here's the weekly. From a weekly point of view, you can see that we've gone from the bottom of that monthly sideways channel up to the midpoint here and we've done it by a move which oscillated in this level here then moved up pulled back moved up now it's pulled back and it's oscillated it's moved up pulled back moved up pulled back so it's got sub channels going on in here can you see for example we can see here we have a support level there which is very close to the support level here and we can see these interim support levels. Now you remember when I talked to you about Fibonacci's and uh, retracements and so on, some of that will come into this picture during all of this. So now we know a lot more about how we might interpret this particular chart. We might even see some levels at this level here, which is based on these highs here and then you can see how this operates. We've got a support at this level here, then it's moved up. So now we've got a lot more information about what's happening. This is on the weekly chart. Um, and we might then want to zoom in from that onto the daily chart. But before I do that, just let's talk a little bit about the indicators. I'm going to talk to you first um, about the Cato Bull Bear Butterfly. Now, this dotted line through the middle is the zero line. So when it's below the zero line, we're looking at trades that are moving down, they're bearish. And when we're above the zero line, we're looking at trades that are moving up or bullish. But it's not the whole picture. You can see that when the bull bear butterfly indicator starts to rise, that is also a sign of a bullish movement. So in itself, it is a sign, depending on its direction and what's going on, as to what's happening overall with the particular asset that you're looking at. So here you can see it pulled down and then came up, and this was a move to the upside. And as it did that, these other indicators started to do things, and they do them at different times. You don't know how far a trade is going to go. I've told you many times. All you can say about a trade is that it's got the signs of a movement in a particular direction. It doesn't mean it will go as far as you'd like it to go, and it doesn't mean it won't go as far as you'd like it to go. It just means there's a potential for a move in the direction that you would anticipate it going. The probabilities are moving in your favor. It still means that the trade has to be trade managed 
and that is down to you as a trader to trade, manage it, and to interpret all of the other signals as to whether or not this is a good trade. Now the thing is, of course, the market would behave in the way in which it behaves, and therefore some trade signals setups may look like good trade setups and may indeed be good trade setups, but they still may not follow through all the way that you want it to. So you have to trade manage it. Okay, let's have a look at this in a bit more detail then. We have here, we're above the zero line. So now at just this point, it ticks up above the zero line. We're looking for a potential for a trade to the upside. We've been rising from below the zero line. I've got a line which is here at 7.5 and a line below which is 7.5. Typically when it's above 7.5 or in that region, it's very bullish move. And when it's below 7.5, it tends to be a bearish move. Um, but as you can see, those things aren't guaranteed. Here we have a, a candle set up here on the weekly, which is a bull candle which is pretty much fully reverses this bear candle. Um, so we have a bull move up here. But at the same time, we then have it next week, we have a bearish engulfing, which suggests a move all the way down. It's a very strong move down. However, these support levels back here acted as support when it got to this level here, despite the very strong bearish move down this support level here supported it and we had a bullish move back up. So we had the potential for a move to the upside. But again, this level here acted as a resistance and so it pulled down. And um, trading is, is one of those difficult beasts that you're just going to have to get, if you're going to trade, you have to get used to the fact that setups will set up and trades will trade to some degree or not and it's up to you to make money out of them which is why I suggested making a three tranche trading system which essentially means that if you can get one tranche to go to the first target you're banking money and protecting yourself against downside losses and if you can break even on subsequent tranches then that's great and if you can get them to move the whole way that's much much better so in this case here, we can see how these different indicators give you the indication that something is happening. So let's go through it all. Okay, here we are bull. So we're not really looking for a short trade. However, what we have here is S trader, which is like a kind of um, strength trader. It tells you that the, the strength in the bull move is turning. So that is a strength and a bull move is turning. And you can see that sometimes it follows through, in this case it followed through into a further down move. But when we look at it here, we can see that S Trader has said the strength in the bull move is turning. And uh, you'll recall from the webinars that if you're long and you're not already out of this trade, then you would put your stop point underneath that whole candle, because that's the full range of the candle. And stops versus alerts is another whole conversation, which we probably ought to have again. Um, so we can see that S Trader has said, be wary. There is a bear momentum here. And the M Trader, which is a momentum type of trader, is also saying the momentum has moved bearish. But Litmus is saying that we are bull. And the bull value of Litmus at this point is two. And when it's two, it's confirmed bull. And here we can see that the bull bear butterfly is in the butterfly zone. We've gone above the line, below the line, but we are butterfly. Litmus is saying bull, so we're looking for bull moves because it's a two, which is bull. If it was a one, it would suggest it in itself is potentially butterfly. So when litmus is one, litmus is suggesting potential butterfly, which means that if 
the Cato bull bear butterfly indicator is rising, then we'd be looking for a potential long trade. And if the bull bear butterfly indicator is falling, we'd be looking for a short trade, even when litmus is either minus one or a plus one, because it's still butterfly when it's a one. Right, so here we have one occasion where we have the signals, the strength trader, the S trader is pointing down, and the N trader is pointing down, and the litmus is pointing up, and the bull bear butterfly is pretty much in the middle, but we've been rising from a low. So we would be looking for a long, and when you break a short indicator, that is, the strength trader has gone bearish and M trader the momentum indicator has gone bearish we're looking for a break of that would indicate long and here immediately we get it flipping long but you could as a trader see that we've got the move up we've got the move back this represents a bullish engulfing and it pretty much confirms that this candle bear has failed when it breaks out above that close. Here's a whole pile of rejections coming down and it failed. So you could re-enter that at this point here when it breaks out above that level. So then you'd be looking long. This is on the weekly, remember. And we move up and then we've got a bearish engulfing candle here again. We've got S Trader telling us we're bearish. M Trader is telling us we're bearish. Litmus's test is still telling us we're bull, and the bull bear butterfly is still telling us we're bull, so we're looking for bull. And indeed, the candle moved all the way back up to here before it rejected. So now this is a rejection of the continuation move to the upside. So now you would be considering trading this short, even though this is bull, but you'd be doing it cautiously because you don't know how far it's going to go. That being the case, this particular trade, the weekly, took us down like that. Okay, so you can see that Litmus immediately flipped over at this level here, and then it continued to go through. So by the time it was here, Litmus was then reading a minus one. And um, at this point here, with it reading a minus one, S Trader and M Trader were both short. So if you were looking for a long trade, you most certainly would not be wanting to take it at this point. And if you were looking at the daily, you'd be looking at this chart to give you a clue about what to do with the daily. Over here, we're looking at this chart to give us a clue of what to do with the daily. So what do we see? What we see first is um, a very complicated set of indicators because they're confused with each other. So from a weekly point of view, you can see S Trader has gone long on that one with this almost bullish engulfing of this candle. So we've got a nearly bullish engulfing on that candle there. You can see litmus at this point here is a zero. Um, it's right on zero. It, it has got no indication one way or the other. It's fully butterfly. But what we see with the bull bear butterfly indicator is we are bull. So we're looking for a bull move off of this candle here. We know that when we're looking for a bull move, that this may move to the upside. And if it does, we're looking for a bull trade. So there we are. We've got a bull trade on S Trader, but we're still cautious because M Trader is not showing fully bull yet, and Litmus is still showing neutral. So this has the potential for a bull move, which gets confirmed by Litmus on this candle, and M Trader on this candle. And we're looking for the moves to the upside. So if you were looking to trade that part of the chart on a daily, you'd be looking for trading long trades only. We've got bull, then we're still all bull, and then with this candle here, we've got S Trader, that's the strength trader showing weakness in the bull move, a 
showing weakness in the bull move, but it doesn't follow through. And that failed weakness gives us a rise to the upside here. And then we've got weakness again, both on S Trader and on M Trader. And litmus test has gone to minus one but the bull bear butterfly is still up. So we're looking to potentially trading short below here on the weekly. And that is the, the week of the 29th of December. So we're looking to trade short if it breaks out below there. And then here we can see there's a potential move upwards. Litmus is moving back into the zone. This is a live chart. So, but S Trader and M Trader are both saying bear on the weekly. So we got conflict really. The indicator for the bull bear butterfly is up. The overall trend is clearly long. But from a weekly point of view, the strength is down on S Trader and on M Trader. So you have to make your own decision. What am I going to do about that? If we look in more detail then from this particular part of the chart, which we can see we're looking for bull trades, but we do have conflict over here. We did have agreement there. We had disagreement here and we had agreement there. We had agreement there and we had disagreement there. M Trader hadn't yet agreed with everything else that was going on. M Trader will often follow as trader but not always and um, this is this is the situation that you have in front of you now let's have a look at the daily then so here we are on the daily and the daily on the 27th um, we have this amazing candle here which rises there let's look at it again in more detail we have followed through this particular period here. Litmus is minus one. The bull bear butterfly is high but falling. Um, we have a low point here, a high point there, a high point there. This is potentially a double top. But this low here that it actually puts in and forms is a higher low than these lows here and we have the potential for the trend up. So we're looking for a trade to the upside. S Trader has given us a potential upside trade here. So even though M Trader is not in alignment, S Trader is saying the strength is moving to the bullish side. S Trader then reverses and it's saying it's moving bearish again. But at that point, M Trader kicks and would point to the upside and overall on the weekly we're still looking for a long trade so we're looking for a long trade off of here when we move to this candle we now have s trader in bull and we have m trader bull and we have litmus as a minus one which is a butterfly from its point of view and the bull bear butterfly indicator is reading seven which is bull. On the weekly, remember, we are bull. So we're looking for a bull trade from here. Now you're looking for a bull trade with three tranches. So three tranches using ATRs. We're looking at that ATR down here and this ATR value on that candle is approximately 668 for no, 505 so 50 pips is what we're looking for because this gives it in uh, points of a pip so it's 50 pips is what we're looking for is one ATR max so we're looking for a trade that goes long above this level here if it breaks the top of that for 50 pips and 50 pips from there would take us to about there. That would be tranche one. And another 50 pips would take us to there. So that's tranche two. Pardon me. So if we were trading that long on the daily, we could have taken two tranches long. 
we have everything come into alignment on this candle here where litmus and everything is now aligned remember we've got s trader aligned there we've got m trader kicked over here we're looking for that long trade if we missed that long trade and we're now on this one we should really have banked two tranches off of that trade however we're now here now the point is that this is a very interesting setup why is it interesting the reason it's interesting is because this candle has a long wick all the way up to the top here you can see so let me just put some lines on it this is the top there and this is the open and this is the close it's a massive rejection at that level there so would you take a long trade from there well with a great deal of caution in fact there is enough room to get one ATR out of that trade going long but this is a great deal of caution if you're trading it in the way in which uh, I suggest is the most prudent way of trading it is trading outside of the ranges because this is all of these candles are inside bars of this trade here so in fact this is very cautious and this is actually a, a bearish engulfing nearly fully engulfing candle there and you can see that s trader has picked that up s traders got it and said basically it's got it nailed and said right strength has moved bearish you're looking for a potential short or closing out your longs at that level on the daily if you were long remember if you'd taken the trade at the more appropriate time when the risk was smaller and the reward was greater and you've got s trader lined up and m trader lined up litmus giving us a minus one which is a butterfly bull bear butterfly long you would have had two tranches and the third tranche would be running with the stop move to break even so in fact you would have made one tranche two tranche and the stop to break even there as it rose up there that other stop may have moved to there so you may well have banked three tranches one at 180r and two at 280r now you're waiting it pulls back down here you've got all the systems in alignment you've got a break above there you take that trade up and you may make one tranche out of that or you might not or you might close it break even that's up to you so once you come back down here all the closes are at break even and there's no trade on now we've got a short trade here but we're long we're not really looking to trade it short though if you are feeling bold you can do that s trader is saying short i would personally probably hold out of that trade on the grounds that everything else is pointing to a long trade and wait until a bull trade is set up now you can see everything is set up short here all the assault but the bull bear butterfly is long so now the question is are you going to trade that short on the grounds that this is oscillating as we've already seen from the lower range here to the midpoint this is remember the midpoint on the weekly if I come back out to the weekly you can see or in fact the monthly you can see we are around the midpoints of that trade and uh, we've come up from here we're around the middle and therefore everything is more or less centered you're not quite sure which way it's going to go so that's that's a question for you here however we can see the candle move down we have a doji candle here um, and we now have the trade for this candle s trader is now moving long m trader hasn't and litmus test is still minus two so we're not looking for a long from this point because litmus is minus two however the cato bull bear indicator is pushing upwards and we are around the seven and a half mark on that so actually we are looking 7.25 it's reading at the moment so we are looking for a bull move from that from the weekly we're looking for a bull move from the monthly we're looking for a bull move and s trade is just moving bull we're waiting from a daily point of view now we are waiting to see what transpires this is definitely in a downtrend s trader is giving us an indication of a reversal 
everything else we're looking for a bull trade so we're just sitting and waiting and uh, that's the nature of trading if you were trying to trade on lower time scales from that a four hour chart for example would give you more detail and show this big spike that we saw and then a consolidation in this zone here and S traders giving us a long on the four hour there M trade is still down, litmus is in the middle, bull bear butterfly is strong, so we're looking for a long trade above this level here, and a long trade above this level here would give us one tranche, two tranche off the four hour chart there. I hope this explanation helps, and I hope that uh, any questions it raises, you be, feel free about writing to me or emailing me, and we can have a further conversation about it. So there you are, this is John Cato from 30 Minute Trading, just signing off at the moment and leaving you with this trade. You can see the four hour is moving upwards at this level here, but the bull bear butterfly indicator is bare. So really it's a question, are we expecting a channel trade from this low up, or are we expecting it to go up and reverse or come down? At the moment, we're not looking for a long trade because we haven't got enough confirmation down here at this level and uh, we'd be waiting to cover any particular longs if we were long with um, a covering off at this level here. If we were short on this trade here, you should be out of your short by now because this indicator S trader just kicked up and said, go cover your shorts there. We've got another cover our shorts all the way through there. M trader saying cover your shorts. So if you were short on that trade, you'd be covering your shorts there. So there you are, I hope that helps. This is John Cato, 30minutetrading.com and uh, wishing you happy trading.